What's up? We on set of a new episode of Carisha Please, where we keep things real, raw, and uncut. Today's guest, we got Big Lotto. The biggest. The biggest. Uh. <laughs> What's up? How you feeling? What's up, sis? My sister. Period. Period. I'm feeling good. So, first off, I just want to say congratulations on everything. Thank you. You've been doing amazing. Thank you. You just got nominated for three BMAs. Yeah, yeah. How you feeling? I feel good, like, it feel good to, like, have been putting in so much work for so long. Like, if you know me and my story, you know, like, damn, this bitch been grinding for a long time. Like, for it to finally be, like, my time. Paying off. Yeah. And you also performed at the BET Awards. I was, like, yeah. just standing up, like. Yeah, <laughs> I seen the clip. I was, like, looking like me. I was standing the whole time. Yeah, like, yes, and then when you started crying, it just made me very emotional. Because yeah. I know, like, you know. How it is to just be young, yeah. and trying to feed oh, your God. family. And then just being a female and just knowing, like, I'm sure you know what be going on, like, behind the scenes and stuff. And so it's like, we root for each other, like. Yes, I was just like, damn. Me and JT was like, oh, my God. She was about to cry like me, too. <laughs> and when you was performing and you brought out Mariah Carey. Yeah. I was period. like, oh, this bitch is fucking it. Oh, like, God. She's killing it. Like, I, I was not playing, too. Like, we had to do dress rehearsal. And I was like, uh-uh, they need to clear the whole shit. Like, I don't yeah. want this shit to leak. Like, I was so secretive about that because I'm like, oh, y'all don't even know how I'm yeah. coming tomorrow. Like, right. So when I saw you performing at um, Billboard. Yeah. I was like, okay. She eating it up. Yeah. But then when I saw you come back and do it again uh -huh. at the BET Awards, mm -hmm. and you was just like so in tune, you was just so confident, you was just yeah. like killing it, like your choreography, mm -hmm. everything was just like Thank down you. pat. Like, what's the, like, how do you, like, for me and JT, mm -hmm. we don't want to go to rehearsals. <laughs> we had like, a, like, like, what show, like, how show, like. I be like that too. Like, you know, like that with your man. You know, when they get up, you know? <laughs> um, <laughs> You're not trying to get up and go fly to rehearsal. Like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I think I just like seeing the people reaction every time I come harder than the last time. Yeah. So I think the people more so be my motivation. Like, I'm like, I got to show them, like, I can do it. Oh, y'all like that one? I'm going to do it better next time. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. And I think that really count because the first day that we had went on tour and yeah. I went upstairs and watched a lot of perform, I was like, Mm -hmm. Oh shit, because I went on tour just like, bitch, I'm just going to get up there and shake ass and whatever, <laughs> and I'm going to get through it. And when I watched her say, I was like, oh, this yeah. girl don't play yeah. at all. Yeah. So for me being her friend and just seeing how good she performing, breath control, dancing, yes. crowd engagement, everything, like, mm -hmm. that's real big. Right. So I'm really mm -hmm. proud of her for that. And you just Thank finished you. your 777 tour. Yeah. How was it? It was so fun. That was my, people, okay, that, that was not my first tour. That was my first headline tour. So it was like, I wasn't, I wasn't used to being like, everything revolving around me, mm -hmm. like, you know, so yeah. I can't be late, this is my shit, you know what I'm saying? So it was fun though, it was just a lot of pressure because it was like my shit this time. Like, all the attention was me, like, I'm what like. Would you, what would like, what would, which city would you say was your favorite? Mass was San Francisco. Bitch, I had a ball in San Francisco. And I didn't expect it. San Francisco was lit. <laughs> you wanna know something funny? One of my white uncles came to the show in San Francisco. For real? And I was, was that San Francisco or San Diego? I might be lying. I think it was San Diego. San Diego? I'm lying, I, it was San Diego. I think my most lit one was um, Salt Lake City. Mm. Was it Salt Lake? It was one of them cold ones. It was like Salt Lake City or um, Denver. Mm -hmm. I think it was Salt Lake City. Though. Salt Lake it was like City one of them ones I didn't expect. Yeah. Like I'm like, damn, I ain't even dressed up to parts. So mm -hmm. I didn't expect them to be like that lit. So when you was on tour, it was like a situation that went on with your manager or somebody playing pranks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look. Hands up, don't shoot, they ain't have shit to do with me. No, it didn't have nothing to do with, do with me. I didn't even know about this until it had already happened. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh my God, now they attacking me. I called him, you no, know, I sent, I told you. know, you. that's so funny. Me and Lotto being sisters for like a oh, while. Wow. We got to our first argument yeah. after that. Nobody know But that's how I know we was like, like this. Like, yeah. Cause that, it kind most of people, you can't like get into it and then bounce back. Like, we didn't get into it bad, but no. we had like a sister like, 
uh-huh. conversation like about like where it's like, well, bitch, this is how I feel, and this is how I feel. So what? Yeah, <laughs> that, that made me respect Santana. Like, yeah, bitch, and and what? And I was like, yeah, bitch, and what? She did that because Nana was backstage, so it was really like you know her team. So it was like it's prank day. Yeah. So. I'm like, okay, I had already told him, I was like, well, I don't know who y'all pranking, just don't prank me, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> and I didn't think nothing else about it. And so when it just came out, it just caught everybody off guard. But it's like, you know, even Lotto team, us being friends and me being around them too, all of us, you know, it's kind of like family. So mm-hmm. it was just like, if you try me on a cut show ass out, don't yeah. try me again. Yeah. And it was like, For that the was record that. though, if I knew about that, that wouldn't have happened. Like, I don't mm-hmm. even, you know, I don't do yeah. about that. Like, we... I, I 100% felt where you was coming from. Like, yeah. That wouldn't happen on my watch. But if, if y'all been around me, y'all know my team. They crazy. Gang like, is. They, I the be having to tell day. them, like, baby, we at a show. We not at the show. Bro, club. wasn't it like the last tour? It was the second to last day. I so they, they was probably like, just wanted to like, go out with a bang. Yeah, yeah. Some shit happened. They was like trying that. to, but you can't play <clears throat> with everybody, though. Yeah. That's how see, we got happy. You was bucking on their ass. It like, was yeah, a Florida get their ass together. Yeah, like, yeah. It, was a, it was a Florida show. So <laughs> for me, I'm like, yeah, and I'm it's in your Florida. Like, this is exactly. my, this, yeah. my stomach grounds right here. Don't try me. Try me in. Deal with somewhere. Though. Don't try me in Florida. Yeah, because yeah. I feel like they didn't do it on the absolute last day because it was Atlanta. That's home for us. Uh-huh. But that, now we home for Santana. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, Bitch, I, was I feel like a lot of crazy shit happened on tour. I've been on tour twice. And the last time I was pregnant, and them bitches thought it was a joke to eat my snacks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, who the fuck ate my snacks? My security, like it's my DJ, my DJ, like it's your security. I'm like, look, both of y'all ass fired, don't fucking play with me. Oh, I'm shit. like, pointing as fuck, I'm moody as fuck. Uh-huh. So I feel like, you know, a tour is just like you on the road. Yeah, it be shit. like high intensity, like stressy yeah. Yeah, all the time. Huh? Like, you be ready to fight anybody. Like, bitch, I want to go to my man. I'm sleep deprived. I've been touching on a all bus. these people. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people like, around you, even though we are cool as a bitch, just still like, you, you are you around a person every day? Every day. Yeah. Same routine oh, back it's back. no so it's me like, time. Right? No. Yeah. My bus was hell. I was the Grinch that stole Christmas on my bus. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of tour, you about to go on tour with Lizzo. Yes. How you feel about that? I'm super excited for that because it's going to be like arenas. This the Pete Dolly. Yeah. Like, oh, okay. This arenas. Like I'm with Lizzo. Like, mm-hmm. And it's less pressure on me because this ain't my shit. It's ain't you know shit. what I'm <laughs> Nobody gonna be looking at me for all the answers and the resolutions to all the everything. So I'm like, okay, it's Lizzo shit. I'm just here for the ride, you know? I think it's gonna be great. I'm gonna pop out at the Florida show and become a support. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like most times we get pressure into like doing things. We we say we don't, but I mm-hmm. feel like we do. Just like me, for instance, I don't got pressure into doing some shit that I said like, fuck these people. I don't, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Do you feel like the internet pressured you into changing your name from oh. mulatto to lotto. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you've been to say in general. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think, yeah, it had something to do with it for sure. I'd be lying if I said it didn't. Because I was like, where I think people need to cut me a little slack is that I was young. Mm-hmm. Like, a lot of people think that I came up with this thing. I, was, I did not give myself that name, first of all. And then, you know, starting rapping at what, like eight, nine, ten years old with that name, that was my name. And I knew I didn't mean no ill intent with it. So I'm like, fuck y'all, I know what I mean. Like, mm-hmm. and I say what I said. Till I'm getting older and I'm kind of having my own opinion on stuff and I'm just having my own beliefs and morals as a woman. So I'm like, actually, you know what? I'm listening to y'all now, like, you know what I'm saying? But they ain't bully me out my shit. Mm-hmm. Y'all ain't bully me out my <laughs> shit. Don't get it fucked up. Y'all yeah. ain't bully me out my shit. I was just being mature about it mm-hmm. and like being open ears versus being like closed minded and like just young. This interview is being brought to you by Deleon Tequila, owned by a black man. Goes down smooth. Now back to more, Carisha, please. So I feel like, you know, Joey, just being both of y'all friends, um, you know, I feel like, you know, with her changing her name, I feel like y'all at the end of the day get to y'all, and I think especially with y'all being girls, you know, girls is a little more sensitive, because I go through that too, but I think kind of it's different with, like, me being gay and coming out at 17, I had to already had a mindset of, like, fuck everybody, because mm-hmm. I came out wearing nails, wearing girl clothes, yeah. with facial hair, having to go to stores, mm-hmm. having little kids, like, 
mommy, what is that? Mm -hmm. Why you talk like a girl, you know, mm -hmm. like that? So it's like, I kind of had that, you know, um, I kind of have like a harder mindset when it comes to comments, but I just feel like the internet now is so fake woke. Yeah. And trolling is a trend. Yeah. Um, because even if her name was Mulatto, she's, her mom is white and her dad is black. Right. And that's the meaning of Mulatto. I, I, I feel like. And so it's like, even if that was her name, that's that's her experience. Mm -hmm. That's her culture. That's her that's her uh, being a person. Mm -hmm. It wasn't nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. I meant I commend you for, you know, seeing listening to people because mm -hmm. as artists we kinda you know just you kinda you wanna to, kinda wanna appeal to people, too. yeah, with the yeah. policies of you kinda wanna appeal to people. But I definitely feel like um, it wasn't never nothing wrong with her name because that's for her to speak on. If I wanted, cause my before my name used to be Sissy Santana, mm -hmm. and I only reason that I changed it was because people would see me and you know how like sometimes people call me saucy. Mm -hmm. People would see me and just address me as Sissy, right? And I was like, whoa, that don't you know I was, come off. I swear to God, I was gonna say that too, like. The bigger I got, the more I had to put that shit into perspective. So mm. it's like people literally was using examples like, okay, so what about when you win your first award and it's a white presenter and they saying mulatto? Like, I'm like, damn, that is kind of weird. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And then also, too, I, I wholeheartedly agree with what you're saying. If you look at it with my intent, mm -hmm. if you look at it as what it could be perceived, then that's when the, the shit get a little sticky because yeah. it's like, damn, people were saying like, Oh, you think that's a personality trait? Like, you, like, bragging on the fact. Like, you think you above people because you are. And that's not what I meant by mm -hmm. that. So that's when I just took a step back and I'm like, okay, how y'all taking it is not how I meant for it to be t taken. Mm -hmm. So let me let me be the bigger person in the situation and kind of, like, right. go back to the drawing board. Yeah. And anyways, too, like, Lotto, bitch, hit the lottery. I'm a rich bitch. Yeah. Hello. So I, I, do, I do love that because so I, like, anyway. I feel like it was a perfect, it was a perfect transition because Lotto, you know, hitting the lottery. Yeah. I really loved it. Yeah. But um, something that I learned just by being in the industry, and mm -hmm. Cardi was the first person that told me this. She was just like, I remember when JT went to jail mm -hmm. and um, people was like, oh, you can't rap. Da, 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 and I was like holding down a group. And she was like, let me tell you something. The more you become famous, the more success you get. Like people root for you. Yeah. When you in the hood and you trying to make it out, but mm -hmm. that moment you once you get it, hit the lottery and you in your bag, uh -huh. they're gonna bring Not you a down. On good. And I feel I was like, damn, that's so true that's because so I true. went from people like loving me to like, yep. bitch, I can't even say that. It's like, oh, girl, oh my god, oh, damn. God. So I feel like I hate that though because it's like we be so scared like. I perform in front of 30,000 people, don't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. I do an interview, I be like sweating and shit. Like I'm like, ooh, I hope because, I don't say the wrong thing. They because cancel me. people have gotten to a point where they take a 15 second clip yeah. or a 30 second clip and try to paint these yeah. narratives for us. But one thing that I have learned with trolling, because I've been through, I've been through at least like three cancel cultures already mm -hmm. and it hasn't happened. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of the world and especially the audience that audiences that we reach a lot of times when we read those comments we're reading those comments from one audience mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. when we reach five six seven ten different audiences yeah right so that's why in real life when we at shows and mm -hmm. in real life when we out shopping and mm -hmm. in real life when that we shit doing don't things, translate you'll be like <laughs> Where are y'all at? Yeah, right. <laughs> Where are these people at that's in the comments? Yeah. Because we only read in one demographic of mm -hmm. people. Right. Mm -hmm. That I agree. feeling like, you know, now, see, back then, you had to really have a viral tweet. Or you really had, oh, when I was young, we used to see people in magazines at yeah. the grocery store. Uh -huh. Now, you could cuss me out and I respond to you. Boom, you on a shade room with 30 yeah. million. Shade room got 30 million followers. We all more that. accessible. Yeah, yeah we more accessible. I hate, I hate that. I always yeah. say that. I'm like, damn, it's like everybody is so accessible. Mm -hmm. Like, it's, it's, so, it's so crazy. Yeah. And it's just like, that's a problem. It It is, but it kind of work in our favor too. Sometimes it work in our favor, but then a lot of times it be like against us. Cause like we more accessible, we can gain fans like this. You mm -hmm. can drop a song and go viral and sign a $3 million deal. Like yes. it's like yes. nothing. Yes. Like it's yes. nothing. Yes. yes. But at the same time, it's like we too accessible. People don't respect our our caliber. Like, mm -hmm. 
your work ethic and like they look at you like oh yeah i i went to school with karisha right. i know karisha like you know what i'm saying we did that's why i feel like that's we the problem because it's just like they feel like they know us so yeah it's like, like you don't know me i'm cool i'm, gonna show I'm my sure person. you deal with that too yeah. a lot like i, I get that time I like, get it a lot, no. and, and especially with my personality, <laughs> people feel like, and especially with me and Karisha being best friends, you know, and showing our stuff on yeah, the internet. Yeah, they feel when like they know me, they feel like, I feel like I'm your best friend, yeah. like my cousin. I'm like, and that's cool, but you know, mm -hmm. this is real life. Yeah, that's, you oh don't God. know me. That's something. Oh I, I was in Bell Harbor one time when it was to my son. Mm -hmm. It was in the Gucci store. I will never forget this moment. And this was this was when at the time I was like, I don't like people to call me Carisha. Yeah. Because if a person call me Carisha, I feel like I know you. Yeah. So I was in a in a mall. My son and the girl was like Carisha, and I look and I'm like, I hmm? think I know you from somewhere. And then when I realized, I'm like, shit, fam, I'm like, bitch, I don't know you. And yeah. she like. And I'm like, yo, mm -hmm. my son, like, yeah. relax. Mm -hmm. You know, like, I want my son. I'm you got shopping. that right, I'm like, though. I'm like, bummy. I'm just, yeah. I'm trying to really, like, this my. 100%. When you with your kid, that's that's it alone. Like, that's yeah. what people. If I'm with one of my kids, baby. Yeah. That's, so, that's it alone. And I told her that, and she just, like, went to tweaking. I'm like, yeah. and, and, and maybe go to the end. I'm like, yo, don't ever call me Carisha again. Because yeah. it's like, at that point, when she said, Carisha, I look like, oh, I know you from somewhere. But then yeah, when I Yeah, you trying to figure out where you know her from. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I'm like, and then I shut her down and it became a problem. I'm like, yo, people is just, it, we too accessible. Yeah, we too accessible and they feel entitled off of that. They see y'all lives, they see y'all talking, they feel like they talking to their best friend too. Mm -hmm. Right. Like, so like, for me, I'm like a comment reader. Like, I'm mm -hmm. not going to lie. Whenever I'm on a yeah. blog. Yeah. Yeah, that's um, me too. My friends be trying to take my eyes off. Like, it's, it's us. Like, you wanna, <laughs> like, if I'm on the show, room, bitch, what, what you yeah, saying? Uh -huh. You know, it's like a lot of times, I, I'm not gonna lie, I let that shit get to me. Yeah, I don't me know too. why, because I feel like I'm such a strong person. Yeah. I got tough skin, but Like, why out of all things I'm letting y'all get to me? I feel like I have to defend myself. Yeah. Because yeah. bitch, still wasn't my toes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Bitch, what are you talking about? Yeah. And uh -huh. I feel like a lot of times, it's like, bitch, be Beyonce to the bullshit. Yeah, but it's harder than that. It's harder it's, than that. It's, it's harder, harder than that because, you know, you, because you see it so many times, like, it's so many times in the comments and yeah. in the people. If somebody see a hundred times um, Lotto ugly. Then, then they then gonna push that agenda on Twitter for a viral tweet. Yeah. And I'm like, that's so yeah. crazy. So for me, one thing that I recently did, I don't follow blogs. Mm. At all, mm -hmm. no blogs. Period. That's good though, because that's and what you wake up and see. That's what you right. wake up and see. Yeah. So my mental is literally people that I follow, yeah. and that's who I want to follow. Those right. are my friends or fans that I may have followed yeah. back, or people that I actually care to see on my timeline. Shit, that keep you up, keep right. me up, and it clears my. I actually probably should do that. I, just, I said I'm gonna do that. I should I do that. that. Yeah, it clears my vision. Like I literally, Chris had to send me something like, "Oh, you seen this?" I be like, "Oh, she be like, oh, I'm gonna send it to you." Yeah, I was like, "I swear to God, I never knew." She said she would just send me something the other day that was like. Five days old. I was like, yeah. bro, I didn't even see that. Yeah. And I'm telling you, when you wanna follow them blogs, you you don't even have the 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 you don't have the like you don't have the urge to be like, mm -hmm. let me go see what's mm -hmm. going on. Cause you're just following people that you wanna follow yeah. and you in your own lane. Right. As if as if you know what I take it as in real life. Yeah. We don't know what's going I on. Right. Like, we I only worried about our business what's on our own our business. Us yeah. and like the the celebrities that's like back in the not back in the days but that's the difference between <laughs> us and the the, the OGs, generation before right. us yeah they didn't have social media mm -hmm. and they wasn't getting like yeah I'm bitch if you say something to me I'm gonna say something to you back yeah, I don't I will argue you down I have to like learn to like deal with that and just and I see, I got to start some of your tweets. I'm like, I be want to write you like, Mulatto, please stop. stop. Me. But I understand. But you feel it too. I understand. Oh I get it, yes. I be want to jump in like, bitch. Yeah. And I be like, that's something. I told myself, I was like, that's something I'm working on. Like, I got to really learn to just yeah. be Beyonce to the bullshit and just mm -hmm. let go. Because even just, when we respond, people still try to use it against they gonna us They're going to twist anyway. it anyway. So yeah. it, once you respond, it make you feel like, I should have shut the fuck up. Yeah, yeah. anyways. I should have never said that. That's it, it put more gas to the fire. And add like, gas to it, because now they're going to repost your exactly. response. Exactly. And all of that. And they're going to pay attention to what you're doing. Or if you're arguing with somebody, they repost your response. Now the person you arguing with got to come again. Yep. They repost uh -huh. it. And it's an ongoing thing. I was right. like, girl. And I feel yeah. like that was one of the moments where you talked about your album, get, your album getting clear is, you know, you had a problem with a certain person. Yeah. And they was like, well, why she mentioned it? Right. And she wasn't going to say Oh, who. my God. That shit took me out. I'm not going to lie because it's hard sometimes because people forget, like, we humans. 
And like I be focused on my face car, like mm-hmm. a list of face car first. Like I be like, this me speaking, but I be like, oh damn, I have a whole platform, whatever. Like when I when I said that, I was speaking from me. Like I was speaking from helping the next girl that wanna be a female rapper and she think it's all like fun and games, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of stuff that we don't speak on mm-hmm. because of reasons but like that. They flip something? it on me. Like I did, like I was clout chasing or I wasn't album sales like First of all, yeah. if I wanted that, I would have name dropped. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was that was me just giving insight to the point where I could help the next person without being messy and trying to shit on. Like, yeah. Like, this is what really happened behind the scenes. Like, yeah, this is what really go this on. Yeah, this is what really go on. And that's that's just, that's why I was really shocked by that because I swear to God, I didn't think that that was going to start the internet like that. I'm like, y'all tripping over this? Oh, baby, I got stories for days. Yes. Right. For days. Stuff that's that, nothing. That's that nothing. That's really go through. That's nothing. As, as women. Yes, that's nothing. Like that's that's the bare minimum of shit I've dealt with. At least mm-hmm. I'm sure y'all have dealt with a lot of shit too. Like, baby, that's the bare minimum. Yeah. So I'll leave it at that. So do you feel like you being like so young, like you get taken advantage of? Like, do you feel like people take advantage of you because you like young? I think that's why I'm so headstrong now because I used to feel like that. Like post rap game and like. I've been doing this way before the rap game, but just I used to have so many people giving a say so on my my career, like how I dress, what I rapped about, the beats that I chose, like my whole image. So that's why everything now I go so hard about it being my decision, like to the point where it's damn near annoying. Like they be like, "Bitch, shut up!" Like we get it, you you in charge. Like, mm-hmm. but I'm so hands on now because other people was the controller. Back right. Then. Yep. Now it's me, it's my career, and I, I realized that. And I, I feel like that's very important. I feel like us as women, we have a voice. Yeah. We should speak up. Yes. And we need to be in charge by, of mm-hmm. our shit because yes. every, I feel like it's so many men just like with opinions. And yes. it's like every time we talk, it's like, bitch, shut up, you don't know mm-hmm. nothing. You don't know nothing. Mm-hmm. Or like, like they was telling me I'm clout chasing, or they like sexualize us, like, oh, you just, you rap about this. Like, bitch, that don't got nothing to do with. How I go home and feed my kids. Right. That's two separate images. That's two separate people. The one is the entertainer, one is a woman. You know what I'm saying? So. And that just go back to your son, Pussy, that you just released. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about that. Like, what inspired mm-hmm. you to do that song? And why you felt like it was so important to use your voice? What's crazy is I had recorded that before. Like, it was talked about Roe vs. Sway being overturned, but it wasn't actually overturned yet. I was just in Miami going through beats or whatever. And I heard that beat and I had called my A and R like this feel like nostalgia, like what's the sample? Tell me what they saying, da da da. Cause baby, I'm young, I don't be know. So he gave me like a little briefing and then I was like, Oh, okay, I got something to say. Like and yeah. then not just Raw versus Wade, just women in the industry, period. Like I'm thinking back on the interview that you was talking about, Roe versus Wade being talked about, being overturned. Like I'm like, Oh, I can elaborate on this topic like a lot, being a woman in the industry. Like, I have a point of view. That's something. And I think that was really powerful because even as for me being a boy, yeah. I rap from a female standpoint yeah. because that was my gateway, you know, into it. And people kind of look like we always talking about breaking bags, AP, put a yeah. pussy on your nose, my pussy wet like mm-hmm. water and all that. And so, <laughs> you know, it's like for you to be a rapper that have those lyrics and yeah. be able to be like, okay, y'all tired of me talking about pussy. I'm mm-hmm. gonna keep talking about pussy, right. but I'm gonna switch the narrative uh-huh. exactly. and give y'all a oh, different God. meaning of pussy. Oh God! Because when I dropped like the cover and said like, oh, the song is called Pussy, da da, they like they were they were going go. in my comments like, here we go, another song about pussy. I'm like, baby, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got some hold on. Yeah. And I love, but one thing I thought was really cool is the video with all the cats. Yeah, that was my idea. You wanna know something? <laughs> yeah, it's pussy. I'm gonna have a so cute. Terrified of cats. So I, I, I am terrified. Ter- when yeah. I say I say that's a bold bitch. Yeah. I was gonna be crazy with all the cats I, on me. I, a cat and she got the scary cats, Why? the bold, the yeah. bold ones. I can see a cat right there, I'll be in the pool. Well, I like animals, <laughs> period. I, I love am animals. like terrified of cats. Since I, I was a kid. When they went when we did Pussy Top. They yeah. want to catch, and I said, "Oh, that no. would have been hard. That, that would have like, been hard." Curse you, I said, "No, ma'am." Yeah. I so you would have catched it. So I, I, said, right I was like, "Oh my god!" Like, I just love everything about it. I'm glad you use your you. voice. I feel Thank like you. you know, it's 
we women, it's our time. You yep. know, men been like dominating the game mm-hmm. for so long. And, and we now we got to dominate now. They can't take it. Yes. Oh, God. They, they can't. Ta- they, they can't. They can't. And you know what I love the most about it? That we young. Yes. Oh, God. We using our oh, voice God. and we learning so much. It's like we experimenting at mm-hmm. such a young age. So mm-hmm. when we get in our 30s and we get in our yeah. late 40s, we'll be so experienced and oh, nobody God. can take, you know. Oh, God. And the fact like we, we linking up and stuff, it's like we going against what the applause and the fan bases say that we got to like go against each other. We are cool and we like building this shit together. So we setting the tone for the next wave of female rappers mm-hmm. to be like, oh, damn. We can we can be cool actually yeah. like we can do this shit together. You know why? Cause it's like it's 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 money for the labels when oh, people good. be. Oh good. But it's yes. so it's it's, it's they be pushing that are, shit. It be the label fan base blocks yes. all them behind but the closed doors. So doors. much stronger together. Like I always say, I love Lotto. Yeah. Like when I was at the BET Awards, I was setting up like yes. yeah. <laughs> like it, it, it just made me feel so good because I feel like you know we we all got a story, yeah. we all got a struggle, we mm-hmm. all got a family to feed. Mm-hmm. So I'm not about to be with you right to, to put money in your pocket. Cause it's enough. It's enough money for all of us to eat. Clearly, mm-hmm. <laughs> we all rich bitch. It's somebody for everybody. Yeah. So it's no. Uh-huh. It's only some. Some people was gonna. I like Lotto. gravitate towards. Some people gonna uh-huh. like City Girls. Some people mm-hmm. gonna like Santana. Mm-hmm. It's 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 somebody for everybody, and it's yep. enough for all of us. Yep. And I think that that's so important, just as y'all being women, mm-hmm. because me being a gay boy, I grew up around nothing but girls. Mm-hmm. I had all girl cousins, all girls best friends growing mm-hmm. up, and I watched girls be so catty. Yeah, she got in high school, she got eighteen inch heels, I'm finna go get twenty two. Yeah, right. <laughs> she got four inch heels, I'm finna go get six. Mm-hmm. She got this, I'm finna go. And I used to be like, why y'all so catty? Like, yeah, it don't it don't gotta be like that. And so I really grew up and seeing how girls are really competitive, mm-hmm. you know, with each other. And so for y'all to just be young black women and just, you know, salute each other mm-hmm. and collab with each other mm-hmm. versus like, I'm yeah, no I'm gonna get that, you know what I'm saying? Because I went through that, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Coming in, you know, like in the game and stuff, you know, girls feeling like, Oh, that's a gay boy. Like, I ain't finna, I ain't mm-hmm. finna put him on. I ain't finna, mm-hmm. you know, do y'all being my sisters. Y'all was the first two, one of the first, well, Lotto, and then, you know, coming City Girls afterwards, y'all being my friends and y'all doing records with me yep. and not finna, like, oh, bitch, like, I don't think that. Mm-hmm. need to figure that shit out on his own. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, because right. y'all was already bigger than me coming in. So y'all didn't have to do that. Y'all mm-hmm. could be like, baby, baby mm-hmm. <laughs> figure it out. Like, we yeah. had to do, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I respect that. Mm-hmm. I just feel like it's, you know, it's a new generation and it's important that we support each other. What, bitch? Bitch, I need <laughs> no cards. I keep saying I need no cards. <laughs> I try to tap them and sh- to get it. Yeah, I'm like, wait, bitch, I'm talking to you. Talk, talk. I'm like, well, what I said? But we keep talking about and women empowerment. No, because <laughs> no, women empowerment is so important yes because really i is. feel like it's so like it's so many male rappers and they all stick they don't they do be that licking, oh oh my god they don't, like oh um, my god Trey please instance, say that Trey please instance, say that Trey, he find a new artist, yes. a new male artist, and they never like, oh, Drake out rap. Yeah, remember I don't do a song. Oh, she out, she yes. rap. And it's just like. That's that's what they want. They don't mm-hmm. do that to me. They do mm-hmm. not do that. But they do they that. Do so, that. So, so it's so important for us. So it's like mm-hmm. that's very important. That's mm-hmm. why I'm like, I'm gonna stand up for her. Mm-hmm. I was standing up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't give do a fuck shit. what it look like because mm-hmm. I'm she she young she on her shit mm-hmm. she got a family to feed. I'm mm-hmm. not gonna. That's some real that shit you said because you see like. When these dudes be rapping, they go do features with what? niggas that don't have no straight out the hood, cred- straight like out the hood, straight out the hood. Don't got they, they ain't no even signed yet. No I'm gonna sell this little young nigga. Oh and, they God. Have a, and I was like, oh my God! Oh God. I was like, oh I don't see, oh no, I don't be seeing this with girls mm-hmm. all the time. Like, I was like, you know, girls more so for like, you know, you bitch, a hoe gonna have to come. She like, yeah. who would I? I was like, these men hop on these songs with. Anybody that sound mm-hmm. raw in the basement and, and give these other men, young black men, a platform or okay. opportunity. Mm-hmm. And so that's why it's like it's very subtle when you when you see that you know y'all link up. And that's why I um I'm signed to a label now, so I gotta see how that works. But before mm-hmm. I signed to my label, I wanted to do a gay mixtape. Yeah. 
That's with all. me and just other upcoming mm -hmm. gay boys, cause it's a it's a lot of it's a mm -hmm. lot of other gay boys that rap. Yeah, and they sound good too. Yeah. They just haven't got to where I'm mm -hmm. at yet. But you know, mm -hmm. it's like I want to be able to give y'all a chance too, cause I'm not the type of person that I don't got to be the queen of gay rap or yeah. all that. I'm Saucy Santana, mm -hmm. so I know what's for me is what's for me, and I know mm -hmm. I can do hell of things outside of rap. Right. So I'm not caught up on that. Right. I want to give y'all a chance to. And you that's know, how I, it should I, be. I don't, I don't got to be like, oh, I'm running this. She right. Ain't no when you confident in yourself, you don't see no competition. I don't see no I'm me, you and your lane, and we both to, can run. You know yeah, I want y'all to be able to flourish. I want us to be able to go to the BET Awards, and it's the best new LGBT oh, artist. Oh, like, God. get y'all on lane, because I'm 28 years old, no shade. I'm, at 35, you know, gay people, we got dog years. So, like, <laughs> at 35, I'm really already 50. I don't, I don't want to be 35 still telling y'all that my pussy wet and my AP, <laughs> it, I got the whole bezel, like, I don't want to talk about that no more. Yeah. I'm going to be giving, like, I don't know, just not old, because I don't think I'm going to just give old and corny. <laughs> I'm about but to I'm just going to When I'm 35, baby, this pussy still pop. <laughs> yeah, it's still popping. That's what I said. That's what I said. That's what I, said. <laughs> I feel like 35 now old. No, but that's somebody just not girl said it. That's what I said. It's a gay boy thing. We live, we have dog here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At 35, I can't be no gay boy like, yeah. And my pussy still good, and my yeah. ass still bling bling. They were like, what's with your own ass down? <laughs> so I'm just like, I know I'm in here, I'm gonna do my shit, and I'm ready for a kid, Ken, or a Dre that, or one of them, hey baby, y'all come on. Yeah. Cause I'm old, aggravated, yeah. and tired. I wanna get a <laughs> rich Birkin bag on the yacht with my white toes and a yeah. man. Yeah. And a Period. cocktail. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna get back into this. Uh -huh. You did, um, Big energy, and you got Mariah on it. Like, yeah. what was the process? Like, yeah. how that came about? And how was it working with her? Really? So, child, that was the whole thing. I'm sure y'all seen listen, her. <laughs> when, I heard, when, when you named each other, I was so OB. She yeah. got Mariah. She, yeah. I was just like, that's so big. That's yeah. so iconic. Iconic. Iconic, for real. As and hell. she made that whole situation, like, very smooth selling because, you know, it was a little thing on, on Twitter. It was bashing me because I didn't know um, that the beat was fantasy when I first heard it. Mm -hmm. Clear the air. I said it felt nostalgic, mm -hmm. but I didn't know exactly. I couldn't pinpoint it. And I also told the label, don't tell me as I'm recording because I, I don't want to know what it is. And then try to like subconsciously sounding like the original. You know I did that before. Yeah, you know what you I'm saying? Want, like, you when you know what it the, is, um, the, the original. original. I don't want to hear that while I'm recording. So I'm like, don't even tell me because one of my ANRs. Uh, Jay Graham was like, oh, it's, and I was like, ah, don't uh -huh. tell me. Oh, that's Jay Graham like, it's, Oh, God, he like, it's, it's huge, like, it's iconic. I'm like, don't even tell me. So it was a blessing in disguise, if you ask me. Um, Mariah, she fucked with it. She she actually liked the interview when I said um, that I wasn't familiar with the right. song mm -hmm. at first. She, she was like, girl, I loved your interview. Like, it was so funny. Like, she fucked with it, saying that's all that matter anyways. But... Overall, she made the experience like so fun, so cool. We was on set from like three o'clock in the morning to like eleven o'clock in the morning. She was so when I, cool. When I saw y'all love the uh, picture and TikTok, oh stuff. my god, yeah. I was like the the the, the same color yes. hair. Yeah, I was like, oh yes. my god, I love. It was this. really iconic. It was it was, it was really was so iconic. iconic. It was yeah. thoughtful. It was so girly. Yeah. It just gave Mariah Carey. Yeah, I was just like, oh my god, like that mm -hmm. was so iconic. It was very surreal for me. Like I was like, oh my god, like my mama was like, when she, cause I was trying to surprise her. But she worked with me too, so she was like reading emails on like clearances and stuff, and she seen it. And she was like, "When I seen it, I cried." Like mm -hmm. my mama, them love. It be the, mom, it be the mamas. It what? be the mamas oh, when we God. do stuff like that. What I remember, my mama having like her CDs, posters, and stuff. Like mm -hmm. my mom had me at fifteen, so I like kind of grew up with her. And her and her sister love Mariah. Mm -hmm. Like what, Mimi? So how did they make? Like how did they make you feel seeing your mama in tears? Like. <laughs> It was, it was like, that's the type of stuff that's like rewarding, like, damn, yeah, this is what so I do it for. Moment. Like, yeah, you it's know, like, damn, this is what I do it for. And you know what I love about you? I love that you, like, you you embrace your sister. Yeah. You always showing your Oh, mama. baby, I'm going to have my sister you, with me. I saw you, like, like, I don't know if it was, like, your mom or your dad, like a Rolex. Yeah, uh-huh. That's, that's her sister name right there. Brooke yeah, for Nicole, real. Home. And I just be like, mm -hmm. you know, that's what I, like, you remind me of me so much because I'm, like, so family. Like, yeah, I just want to make oriented. money. Oh, just, God make my family happy. Yeah, that's what I swear that's what I do it for. Like, 
the most rewarding part about all of this is like spoiling them and just seeing them mm. be proud of me. Like I don't even be proud of me no more. I just be like, shit, another one. Mm-hmm. Or like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because it do get to that yeah, point. Yeah, it get to a point where it's sad to say, but you just be kind of like content. Like you yeah. just be like, I'm just here. You I'm know? here. But when I see them be proud of me, that that give me like be motivated. Like I be like, dang. Like I'm like, girl, you got a song with Mariah Carey, and I be like. Yeah, I do. I got so oh my God, that's, <laughs> the, that's, the, that's the really thing because I really had to sit down with myself because once, like, we start, we work so hard and yeah. we do, we go so you fast just go, sometimes. Go, go. And like, even like when I did the performance with Madonna, and that's a moment. That's a moment. A but moment. you just coast. I had, you just I had, like, I had to go to another city after and do something else. I, I didn't really you didn't get even celebrate for like. I just saw Madonna and my mom yeah. was like, you know, like, you just at now. I was like, Mom, I, it's big. I said, I just got to go. I got to go to somewhere else and yeah. work. And it's like, you know, that I love that we had that our family give us that mm-hmm. get up and go because even, I knew that it was big, but yeah. I didn't have a chance to, to even like settle it. You've been yeah. working so hard. Oh, it's, God. And I feel like, um, like recently, I tweeted, I was like, I'm having like a mental breakdown. Yeah. I and I feel it. like, the reason behind my music breakdown was because it's like we were I, I really like I literally just moved into a new house. Yeah. And it's been a month. Mm-hmm. The out of one month I've been in my new house four times. And That's it was crazy. just I'll go, I'll pack my suitcase yeah. and I'll leave. You don't even live in and your new like, house. I'm like, <laughs> I, 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 it was But what's so funny, Carisha is a mom Carisha is a woman. Yeah. I always say that. Yeah. It's so funny because I know as as funny as like we is on the internet and Carisha just get fun doing yeah. splits. She was praying and doing splits on stage yeah. and all that. I but love that though. <laughs> be, no, I be love that. I, I'm gonna go after you. Carisha is a woman. She's yeah. so responsible. Mm-hmm. I'll be like, girl, mm-hmm. why she be like, bitch, I got um, we on the, she on the phone today like, yeah, blue towels for my son, bathroom, black See, towels for the that's, like, girl, that's, 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 that's real grown woman what shit. What was behind my mental breakdown was, this is the real reason was because we had a show in Toronto. And mm-hmm. it's like a whole process to get over there, like mm-hmm. with the, you know, COVID and paperwork. Yeah. And, I, it, and my shit wasn't together when I got to the airport. Mm-hmm. So it was, I got there, they like, you got your vaccine card? And I'm like, yeah. Mm-hmm. But you had to like upload it on the site. And it was just like, I just got off a plane. And it was just like, I just kind of had went through like a death. Yeah. And it was just like when I got to the airport and my shit just wasn't together, it just broke me down. I'm like, yeah, I haven't really got a chance to like mm-hmm. when my baby daddy died. Mm-hmm. I never got a chance to really go through the emotions because mm-hmm. I'm always working. But yeah. so what you said, you can't mm-hmm. soak, soak in your moment mm-hmm. because you're always working. Mm-hmm. So it was one of the moments like, damn, my baby daddy died. You know, we had just released Grow Code, not Grow Code, but what was it? City on Lock. Yeah. And our album got leaked. And it was like, you know, yep. your baby daddy just died and yep. not seem insensitive, but it's mm-hmm. like, I have to work this half yep. for my family. So I had to just mm-hmm. put my emotions to the side mm-hmm. to work. So it was like one of the new moments again, somebody close to me had died. Mm-hmm. And here I am trying to go to a show and I'm not going through my emotions. Yep. So when I got to the opera, I'm like, damn, I just can't do it. Yeah. And I just broke down. One like, thing would trigger all them emotions at once. It me so yeah. bad to the point I'm like, I just broke down mm-hmm. and I cried. I'm and then like, the internet be so insensitive, like because I don't publicize what I'm dealing with, right. y'all assume it's about something totally, totally different. different. Right. You know and, what I, and, I, and I yeah. text and I and I never miss the show. Mm-hmm. Like that's I, I don't give a I I could push out a baby mm-hmm. and I'm and I'm gonna go to a oh, show yeah. that's me. Mm-hmm. I gotta feed my family. We see. <laughs> <laughs> But it was like one of them moments. I'm like, I can't, I can't have this again yeah. because when I finally went through the emotions of my baby daddy, it mm-hmm. broke me down. You gotta so put bad. you first. Sometimes. No, I had to so, go through. Yeah. Like, you gotta put you first. Sometimes. He could tell. He could vouch for me. Yeah. So it was one of the moments. I'm like, you know what? Well, I have to really just this time put myself mm-hmm. first and mm-hmm. just go through these emotions, miss sometimes. this show, and just mm-hmm. you know go be here for Trina. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it was just like it took a real big toll on me. Yeah. And it, like, do you ever had a moments where you just, you know, like, yeah. work take like a, it, it just it, where you just gotta check out real quick. She yeah. did that. They should go on vacation and say, <laughs> "Hey, baby, <laughs> one thing about me, I'd be like, don't call me. I'm not doing shit today. Like, I'll take my little breaks because you I realize to. you have to. You have like, to. Like, if I don't take this one break today, I'm not gonna be able to finish the whole year. You get what I'm saying? So this one little 
five day vacation will it's set me straight set for the rest of the year because you, know you have saying? to think when we sign to these major labels you know they consider them machines mm -hmm. yeah so they work us like we yeah. machines uh-huh and we they money makers we was human people yeah mm -hmm. and so it's like you have to take that the, you have to take those precious moments to just be like, I need to get my mental yeah. together. I need to breathe. Mm -hmm. I need to, if I need to sleep mm -hmm. all day, if I mm -hmm. just need to watch TV or whatever yeah. I need to do, I need to take those. Because mm -hmm. as soon as I seen Carisha wasn't at the show, we saw her too. When I called, she was like, best friend, what's wrong? I was like, no, what's wrong with you? Yeah. And she was like, I just, it was a lot. Yeah. And, and sometimes it don't even got to be a real reason. Sometimes I'm just, I'm, just, I'm at my capacity. Like, yeah, I can't right now. I'm not going to, I was at my capacity. I already had to check out. It was one yeah. of the moments I was like, yo, yeah. like, I'm back in this moment. Like, mm -hmm. I, we work so hard and mm -hmm. I want people to know that. Mm -hmm. I live out of a suitcase. I got a yeah. brand new house. I only been there four times. That's Ooh, crazy. I got so many it's nuggets. 30 days in a month. You I got so many <laughs> nuggets. Four days? What the hell? I got kids. It's emotion. Yeah. But I will. That's what I wanted to say earlier. Like, I swear to God, this is from somebody. Like, I'm not that much younger than you. You just a boss bitch. I really salute you. Like, you give us. I, I always use you and Cardi as an example. Like, y'all give us, a, like, a new meaning to, like, boss bitch. Like, you know how they try to make it seem like, oh, no, you can't have a baby yet. It's not possible. You're going to slow down. You're going to stop. No. Bitch, I swear to God, I'll be like, Miami didn't stop. Cardi didn't stop. I swear to God, I but go to y'all every time. Y'all just rewriting the story for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it just show like, fuck y'all. I can do this. And it's done now. It's right. done Bitch, now. I'm two kids later and I'm that bitch. Still. Rich, put up. My kids don't got to worry about a bitch ass thing. Like, that should be motivation for somebody like me who I'm like, I got a nigga, you know what I'm saying? The baby ain't too far away. Mm hmm it ain't tomorrow. So let's speak but about this baby away. fever. Let's speak about this. <laughs> let's speak about this baby fever. 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 You said you got a baby fever. <laughs> I do. Bad. You want to have a baby? I do soon. Not not yet. Like, I know it's it's easier said than done. Like, I know me telling you that, you like, girl, you don't know the half. Like, I'm sure it's a lot. I come, my mama, she, she was 15 when she had me. So. Mm. Like she was in high school, like they had a little program, like she dropping me off at the school, then going to class. Like she tell me, like it's a lot. And I'm sure I'm being a little immature when I say I am ready, but how I'm ready. How, how soon, ready, how ready. soon could we be expecting? I ain't gonna lie, probably like a year or two. <laughs> <laughs> Probably like a year or two. Motherhood will change your life. Yeah, I feel like that's when you reach, like, I respect the fuck out of women. Like, I got friends that have kids and stuff, and, like, Mother's Day, I don't play. I send every mom I know flowers, edible arrangements, all that stuff, because I just feel like women, that's, women who have kids, that's the boss bitch. The boss bitch is being a mom. Like, right. that's the ultimate boss bitch. Like, it don't get more, like, feminine than bringing a life into this world. Like, I really just... I'm obsessed with motherhood. And and not to take away from other mothers, but I think women in the field of work that y'all are in. Yeah. Because I think this is a busy, this is a, uh, this is not a normal job. Yeah. This is a busy job. Like you said, you live out of suitcase at, at, out of 30 days, you would in your house for four days. So that's 26 days. I got a kid. rehearsal oh, in LA. God. I got to come here mm -hmm. and Atlanta to record. Mm -hmm. I got to go to my, I'm mm -hmm. like, yo, listen. Let me just go home. And it's like sometimes when you over, overwork yourself, you get sick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. when you from Physically print, sick. Yeah. Just from, I swear. Oh my God. This is refreshing. <laughs> <laughs> On the this 4th of refreshing. July. I was like, you know what? Another mental breakdown, but I ain't go to the end. Yeah. I was like in LA rehearsing mm -hmm. for, um, what was it? Um, the shit in London. Um, was, wireless. Wireless. Yeah. So I was rehearsing and I was just doing Carisha Please in between. And when I got home, I was sick as a dog. Yeah. And I'm like, damn, I can't even go around my kids because mm -hmm. I don't want to get them sick. Mm -hmm. So it's just like so much we got to deal with as it artists. It is. It is. And I just want people to fucking know that and stop fucking playing. Oh, for <laughs> real. Especially when you see a bitch doing this with kids. Like, I swear, I be barely hanging on. I'm like, how the hell? How the hell? But like you said, it's not to discredit any other mothers, but it's mm -hmm. just like knowing that you got a whole image to upkeep. And like, I still got to see my kids, find time for my kids still, too. That's a lot. I know yeah, I, this I a different job. Them. Like, this ain't like, I, this ain't like a mother to me. Well, I can't really speak on it because I'm not a mother, but just watching y'all, like, 
I used to watch like my grandma and maybe work an overnight job yeah, and yeah. we gotta get our stuff on the school bus. Yeah. Y'all is like, okay, bitch, I'm gonna go on tour. Yeah. Or I gotta yeah. go for 30 days. Dance yeah. yeah, like that's extensive. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So for, I think women in the industry, like y'all and to be able to do it. And I even think if I don't have a baby, Oh, baby, I'm not gonna stop. I, 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 I think I'm gonna have it. 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 So, before we get into the smoke, shot a clock. I'm with it. Shot a clock. What you want, Lotto? A Carisha, please. Period. I'm gonna put a shot on the side. Because we got some smoke. We got some things to talk about. I'm scared. The biggies. I'm scared. Big, 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 Lotto. Uh, <laughs> no, you know what took me out. Did you know live? <laughs> yes. I Ooh. put it on my story and everything. I put it on my story. What did I say? I was like, I don't know why. I feel like, I always say I feel like, but I don't know. I feel like I'm not really like a, if you know, you know, type of person. Like, I'm really, I I ain't gonna say I don't fuck with a lot of people because I'm 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 real bubbly. But, but that's okay though. With you, I I just always just fuck with your energy, yeah. your vibe. Like I loved you from day one. Like yeah. that's on In and Out. Mm -hmm. We did the video. Yeah. Like uh -huh. our energy just always matching yeah. whenever I see you. On I think it just be like. It be so much fake shit that it's just I like when you see real, you just automatically you, you, uh, go it's like a it. magnet. Yeah, because like, that's one thing about. Me being friends, both of y'all, I remember yeah. when me and Lada was both signing a stream cut, they used to mm -hmm. beg me to be her friend. I said, I don't know that fucking girl. Leave uh -huh. me alone. Uh -huh. like, but it just happened on its own. I was like, no, who is that? I don't like bitch, no. Yeah. I don't know her. I, that's, let her do what she find. Like, I got a people, I don't know her. Yeah. And it was so funny because when we got in the studio together, we clicked like this. Mm -hmm. And instantly became friends. Oh, for real. And I was like, dang, that's so crazy. Those people being trying to even be her friend. Mm -hmm. I was like, no, I don't know her, but Cause I you can't force it. You can't force you can't it, force and you it. just like you said, it be so much fake shit going on mm -hmm. that you don't. You got your guard up. You have your guard up. Like, you know how people is like. Yeah. I used to do Christian and makeup, so that's how I, we was around each other and yeah. got to just vibe and just mm -hmm. see, you know, how we was. And Carisha is very reserved. Mm -hmm. When we first became friends, like, sh like it wasn't like a. She was telling me her business off rip or something like that. I used to um, look up her, um, look up her show. Hey, and my fucking phone. Not phone. looking at her phone. This nigga used to be in my phone doing my makeup. Wait, I was talking about her. I okay? hate when her stylists and makeup artists and shit. I hate when they do that. I ain't gonna lie. It was so you know what I hate when about they do that. We finna get into the smoke. Okay, let's take a shot. Close it out, shot. Shot of clock. Ah, cheers to the smoke. <laughs> cheers to the smoke. <laughs> I'm scared of the smoke. So a lot of Ooh, child. ready for the smoke. I'm not, but I'm here, so it is what it is. You always my man, my man, my man. My man, my man, my man. When I, when I get separated from my man, I have anxiety. Yeah. I'm breaking down. Who is your man? Can you give us a hit? Do he got a tattoo? <clears throat> Do he got a trick? Like, who is your man? He a real nigga. Mm -hmm. He a rich nigga. Mm -hmm. He that nigga. <laughs> he brought you the lamb, he did his big one. Yeah, daddy put me in the lamb, did his big one. And she got yeah. to yeah. the fuck with me, How y'all fucking on a rich nigga that ain't getting something? I, I love that for you. Yeah, I just be like, you know, everything about our life is like exposed, whatever. So I feel like I got something real and I want to protect it from the world just because I feel like. This shit is not no PR shit. This is not no like. Period. Let's talk about period. it. Period. Let's talk about it. Period. 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 Period.
And I love that. I'll put up, baby. I, 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 I love that for you. Know. It's, it's always been a vacation. Yeah, yeah it's always. always. It's now, bro. And I love, yeah, I love it's Richard Millie. Richard Millie's all, birthday is all the fun things. And I love that for Lotto because it's like she in a real You know why I love it for her? Because she young and she's so mature. Yeah, yes. yes. And it's like. That's how sad that she got baby because Lotto's very mature. I, I, I yeah, really, it's I really me. don't know who your man is. Yeah. But I just I love, tell you I, I can I, I just I just love it for I, you know, I, and I love that you're so protected. Yeah. Yes. It's, it's, that's so yeah. important. And people think like they think I'm doing it to like be fake secretive, like, oh I don't want y'all to know, like on some fake bougie shit, like Hollywood, like Baby, it's just for me and mine. That's like, for you. It's we be chilling because your baby I, ball? Yeah, y'all gonna know when I'm pregnant. Yeah, <laughs> and I feel like all of everything is so exposed with yeah. us already that you just want to have something that something to yourself, sacred, something yeah. that's to to me. And I yeah. think you know, like you know, a lot of relationship. You know, it's a if you know, you know, and if you yeah. don't mind your business, right? Exactly. So, do you want a little lot of or I, or a little him? I'm not gonna lie. She I always, love him. I wanna love him. <laughs> I knew it. I I'm know such a sister. sucker. I swear. Oh my <laughs> god. So <laughs> let, I'm a sucker. So they I'm a sucker. You know, when we rap about what we rap about, they feel like we can't be in love. Yeah. So we can't though. You know what? Cause I do it. You do it. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> <Don't> you? <laughs> so what you gotta say about that? That people are like, oh, you in love, but you talking about? I feel like we still young, we still spicy, you know what I'm saying? And it's still like the aesthetic, like bitch, don't get this shit. Fucked don't up. get it like, twisted. Don't, okay. because don't get it still, twisted. It's still, it's still experiences that we had before exactly. being in love, or uh, being in a relationship. Exactly. So don't think that I forgot about that bag. Yeah. I forget yeah. about my single bag, yeah. and I know. What how I could do these niggas yeah. and what we could do these niggas, but you know, yeah. even though I got one. Yeah. So I got a real question for you. Okay. Don't don't make me scared. <laughs> I'm already no, scared. It's, it's not scared. Okay. I told her to this. I wanna I said, I'm gonna ask her this when I get her on commercial, please. Okay. I already wanna know how you so young, uh-huh, but you so freak. <laughs> 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 I'm not, baby, hold on. Let me clear the air first of all. I, I've I'm always had experience, like a, a maybe. nigga. I'm mm-hmm. not really that experienced though. That I think that will shock the world. Like the shit I be rapping about, I've always had a boyfriend. Like I was never like back on the proud. Like mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I was always like What's in high sign? school What's I had sign? Capricorn. Okay. So like we like stability. So like in high school I had a little boo, you know what I'm saying? So. I've always had a nigga, and I just, when my nigga is my nigga, my nigga is my nigga. So it's whatever. Like, my nigga now, we doing a lot of firsts that I've never, like, done. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not really experienced, for real. I just, I'm like that for my nigga, though. Yeah. Like, that's what I would say. It's not even that you're not experienced, yeah. you're not passed around. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm, I, I'll do that for my nigga. For my nigga, yeah. yeah. But I am young and I ain't been with like you know a lot of niggas. Mm-hmm. So, but my my nigga now like he's still a lot of Mark and be like, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm still trying to learn it. I that. Like that. That's, that's, a, so that's a lot of that's not. a lot of signature when she get that back and swing it around. I love that. <laughs> my my man don't like that. <laughs> yeah, no. One thing about one thing somebody about like that. Sense, I, what I love about Lotto, because you know, um, you know, that's me. I love having a man put like a man telling me what to do. Yeah, Lotto is yeah. very like. Hey, take these um short Cause my, my man ass, do cause, not um, like that. Play that. Oh god! Hey, the is <laughs> as much as I be like, as she do that, and I love, I love, Girl, I love be like, that though. Because so you, so you submissive. I'm submissive. I'm learning how to be submissive too. Like, but you know what I think? Like being submissive, it, depending on the type of nigga that you deal with. Oh god! Because I, me being me being a boy and dating, like me being gay and dating, yeah. I'm still a boy. Yeah. So I have a lot of nigga ways. Yeah. And I'm a Libra, so I'm dominant. Yeah. And so for me to be submissive, I have to have a boss ass nigga that yes. made me be like. And you gotta respect him. Like, you gotta respect him. I feel like I just learned how to be submissive. Yeah. I'm such a. Cause you got a boss ass nigga. I'm from nigga. Miami. I'm just such a boss ass. That's so I'm me. raised on Trina like nigga. Cause you got a boss ass like nigga. Yeah. Do 
me yeah. like this. Yeah. But now I'm like, okay, Sadie. Yeah. Cause Ooh, you got a boss ass. I swear sis. to God, that's how I am with my current relationship. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we when you that. when you when you meet a nigga that that open your eyes to that, it's nothing. Like at first, I'm like, nigga, what? It's natural. <laughs> Yeah, it's when natural. You, like, when you meet a nigga that's, uh, that's like that, like that, and it, 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 it naturally makes you like, yes. girl, let me see that. Yes. Shut up. Me, like, I've seen the whole let shit me on the internet. Let me get my ass shut, shut up. up. <laughs> what? Because <laughs> when a nigga not one of them ones, that's you still, when a nigga ain't one of them, <laughs> no, when, a nigga, no, when a nigga ain't one of them ones, you still had a like, fuck nigga, shut up. Mm-hmm. No, when you respect your nigga, that. like he a boss nigga, like he providing and he doing what he supposed to do. As a man, it ain't nothing to be submissive. Yeah. And I seen that whole little shit on on um, social media, and they was talking about like women being submissive and shit. I just shut my mouth. That's why like, I get my ass <laughs> and I shut up. <laughs> yep. but you know what? I'm going to love my man. Yeah. I'm going to make my money. Yep. And I'm going to crush mm-hmm. this now mm-hmm. because at the end of the day. Yep. So with dating, would you prefer to date? A nigga in the industry, or would you prefer to date just a regular nigga? I'm going to be honest. <clears throat> regular what, though? Like, not famous? Not famous. I think I could do not famous as long as they, like... Rich um, as hell. They got money. I'm, <laughs> honestly, I'm going to just be honest. Like, I'm not... I don't... This is why people be fucking this shit up. We not gold digging. Bitch, mm-hmm. we, we got money. That's yeah. about it. But we need somebody to match our shit and provide more than our shit mm-hmm. at least at least match my shit but i really need you to provide more yeah <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 but, you, but you honestly don't have to be industry nigga to do that yeah that's what i'm saying you rich ass be niggas that's not famous or right. that's not rappers or uh-huh. athletes or whatever just rich ass boss ass niggas I, I would actually like prefer someone who's not Famous. So you could be off the radar with your shit. Yeah, like I feel I like, I feel like she's self. very. I told you, like off, I don't, I don't know nothing about her unless I read it online. Like, mm-hmm. I don't, you know, yeah. and, I, and I love that mm-hmm. about her. I love her. that because mm-hmm. it's like that's so your piece is so important in this yes. industry because yes. they would tell some shit down in a minute and don't mm-hmm. know nothing about don't it. Don't know nothing. nothing about it. Narrative. So what would you say was like your perfect date night? Like what was the perfect date you been on that your men? <laughs> This going to sound so regular. No, it's not. It's not reg- regular. I'm, I'm really like, I'm not, I'm not hard to, you see, I'm not hard to please. You know the littlest things is the yeah, most that's important the thing. thing. Because when yeah. you have everything. I'm learning that. You know, because you know why most niggas feel like they got to do the most to impress them. Yes. So yes. they come off as corny. Mm-hmm. So when a nigga do like the littlest shit, like they could just fucking lay up blanket on the floor and want to watch a movie. Like, yeah, oh and I'm God. like, mm-hmm. with me? <laughs> Because it's not about money when you got money. Like, I appreciate it. Oh, baby, I appreciate my Lambo. The other stuff. day, yeah. yeah, your tweet mm-hmm. about you, you know, cooking it oh, for yeah. your man. Yeah. And it's like, bitch, shit. That's, that's what it's about. That's what it's about. You ain't got to go. You know how to cook. Get a. I know how to cook. Teach me. You know how to cook. Girl. You got two kids. You know how to cook. Spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> and a <little> chicken breast. <laughs> And I can boil some rice. It's easy. This the thing. Like, I really tell myself how to cook. Like, my mama can throw down. Like, mm-hmm. my mama is white, baby. She can throw down, though. For real? Yeah. It's giving season? It's giving season. season. Like, <laughs> my mama ain't no Karen. One thing. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> my mama know how to cook. But I was always like a tomboy growing up. So when she would be in the kitchen, she would be trying to tell me to come in there. And I wouldn't want to cook yet. So I, I taught myself how to cook. Because I had to, I wasn't in the kitchen. And YouTube, TikTok, like that shit easy, really. People say you could learn everything on TikTok. You can. I have to get on TikTok. Mm-hmm. My my two year old would be like, "Mommy, I want to make TikToks." I'm like, "Girl, I made no damn TikTok. Uh-oh. How do you even know about yeah. TikTok?" <laughs> I love your TikTok. Yeah. You, I love you, your sister, and your mm-hmm. whole team. Like, yeah. I just love y'all. We we like. It's more like family oriented. Like mm-hmm. we don't even play the whole business shit. Like everybody around me is my friend first, and then my hairstylist, then my project manager, then my makeup artist, then you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We are friends first, and then a lot of people that I be around, they either literally is my blood, or we known each other since I was like I'm gonna tell you got some good elementary. people around you. Mm-hmm. I never heard no rumor. Yeah. No leak mm-hmm. shit. No. Mm-hmm. Fact. I love that. So mm-hmm. your team is a solid team. They solid. You gonna play this or that? Okay. I'm scared, though. You got to ask for one. If okay. not, you got to take a shot. 
We already fucked up. Because, <laughs> hey, had them shots on. <laughs> <laughs> so, would you prefer a rapper or an athlete? And why? Rapper? Only because I think athletes is corny. They be just so corny, like... I ain't gonna lie, I be seeing the athletes on the blogs and stuff, and I just be like, I would never. Mm -hmm. Like, I've never talked to an athlete. I would never. Everybody talk. <laughs> <laughs> Avoid the athletes. They be, they be corny. They be corny. Okay, I got one I think a lot of, I know a lot of gonna choose. Okay. Miami Strip Club or Atlanta Strip Club? Which one you think Miami. Real. You're gonna say Atlanta choose? strip club. My, Lotto is a real Atlanta girl. I was gonna say, she's the way she talks. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Her music, <laughs> her music everything. I have like, fun in Miami. Right. You do, but you is at, at Lotto is Atlanta girl. I did it. I did it at this before, and I was like, oh, God. And then I changed that. You saw I'm like, bitch, that's my fucking dog. I'm like, change it. Oh, God. I don't care. Bitch, oh, God. This for Lotto was my Y'all got a whole world saying, period. Uh huh. Shit. Yeah. Oh God! Oh God! I feel like you, <laughs> your accent, her accent so, with it, so make it so cold. Atlanta. Like oh God! Yeah, I'm gonna say Atlanta Strip Club. Lotto mm -hmm. is so Atlanta. Atlanta. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> <laughs> no, so real shit. Like I got a baby daddy that's from Atlanta. Yeah, I don't know how, but he yeah. is. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, it's just like, I, not, I can just identify a person when they yeah. from Atlanta. Like, yeah. I be like, damn, nigga, you so fucking country. Yeah. Like, we like, we like cool country. Fuck you talking about? Fuck you talking about? Hey, you talking about? Hey, you talking about? It's time out. I remember when I first out the fucking QC. Yeah. I, and I went to the studio with P. Yeah. And we was, I'm like, huh, oh, what? What? Y'all don't understand yeah. me. I don't understand y'all. I'm yeah. like, what? Say, say that again. What? Oh no, baby, we don't understand. And you. I hear it so yes. much. We don't in understand y'all because Florida, us being from Florida, we talk fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everything is fast. Everything is really fast. And one thing about okay. I don't know if it's everybody, but me and Carisha, I gotta swallow right now. <laughs> We have a lot of spit in our mouth. Yeah, we have a lot of spit in our mouth. So even like it'd be funny because Trey Trey knows when I be rapping, I'd be like, hold on. Let me swallow. Let me swallow. <laughs> so that's how we talk. Everybody's like, she knows, she knows, she knows. Yeah. You're like, girl, what the fuck is y'all talking about? I'm like, bitch, I don't know. <laughs> nah, I don't know. Yeah, I'ma say Atlanta Shoe Clubs. So, but I did fuck um, what's the shit? Um booby trap? Booby yeah, trap. Yeah. yeah. I but I'm not gonna lie, me being from Florida, I like Atlanta strip clubs better. Really? You I fucking lie. Girl. Atlanta strip clubs are 2 a.m. I'm not gonna no, lie. No, 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 no. Like You're not that girl. I'm in Allure till 4. Yeah. One thing about Allure, Allure gonna shut the music off at 2 30 and clear y'all bitches out, open. and they gonna cut the, light, you, cut you the lights what? back off. I'm gonna say this. But I ain't gonna lie, the office serve. I'm gonna say I'm this. I've been to the office. I love the office. I feel like. I'm a Miami girl, so I'm gonna say Miami, but yeah. when I came to, you know, Atlanta and I've been with Peter, yeah. I be like, okay. You have fun. Bitch, I have, you fun. have fun. I'm like, yeah, this is the vibe. That's I, how I feel. I'm gonna say Atlanta because I'm from Atlanta, but I do have fun in Miami, though. So, would you say missionary or doggy style? How you just gonna switch it up? <laughs> <laughs> in the middle of your joint. I'm like, in the middle, I'm like, okay. Because we get into the flow. We get into you the You know smoke. what? <laughs> ah! And why? You gotta say why. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say what you give me. Okay, tell me, cause I want. I, I already got my answer. Okay. I want. Y'all tell me which what I give. I saw, I'm like, she really fine as fuck. It's like it's sitting. Everything's sitting tight. So I I would say missionary because me. Mm -hmm. I like to throw my ass back. I like to clap. And I'm like, yeah, nigga, you see his ass clap. I thought she was going to give you doggy because that's a doggy. No, I get mean doggy. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to say, oh, that's, that's a doggy girl. I'm she sorry. She thinks that you're okay, doggy. I'm going to look. I'm, I'm, I'm on you Carisha, too. please. Yeah, me too. I'm going to say too. doggy style because it's like me. I'm just, I like to like throw my ass back and make it clap. And I'm looking back and I'm looking at your ass. Yeah. I'm going to get this ass happy. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, she works with us. She's mm -hmm. sitting. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna speak for you. I would give doggy style, but I need you to. Lotto give me in love missionary. Yeah. Want to look my man in his ass. But 
all that. But she gave me, she gave me mission. She no, she's in love and it's real love. She gave me missionary first, and then after the passionate, fuck me like a dog. Well, I said, me like over. You, Steven, <laughs> you may think that, but that's what she give, but she might give. Push she gave me. Oh, bitch, I have a nigga wearing a photo BBL. I got let me tell you what it is. For example, bitch, I have a nigga wearing a photo BBL. So the photo BBL. But all that doggy style. Well, the photo BBL was still doggy style. No, but I want to get to the BBL. The photo BBL. Oh, God, that's no cap in my rap. That's no cap in my rap. Oh, God, I bag my nigga before the BBL. Way before the BBL. Way before the BBL, too. At that time. That's it. It's doggy style. Like, I feel fine as fuck. Like, I feel like I just. Look good, and I feel like you could feel it, dick. Like you could feel everything <laughs> in you. It's like front and back. No, I feel like that. I feel it more missionary. Oh, I feel it front. I just, I don't know. They Maybe dick, because dick you, you missionary. can just do everything. Like you can do a lot of darn missionary mm. doggy style. I think I just like doggy style better, just because I know I look good. Like my nigga finna. Yeah. Like that. Like that's how I told you. She gave me missionary like, advice and now I'm aggravated. I'm ready for you to um. But that's not finish. me. That's my nigga. Like my nigga going missionary first, cause you know as soon as you see this shit from the back, that is over, over with. with. It's over with. It's over with. Like, okay. He going to wait to the end to, to, you know, finish it off with that because you ain't going to go too long. With so it. I meant to ask you this early on in the interview, but since we brought it up. Yeah. So many people speak about having a BBL and having surgery, yeah. natural bodies. Like, how would you respond to that? Because me personally, it's like, bitch, if you had the money, you're You gonna... would do it too. Hello. It's 2022. Like, nobody have to cap on. Um, I love that you're open done. about it. Yeah, like, bitch, and I'm going to rap about it. Mm -hmm. It's nothing. Like, I'm a rich bitch. I'm going to fix anything I don't like. I don't like Love that. <laughs> Ladies, it's, not, it's nothing wrong, it's nothing with, wrong with it. getting the BBL, yeah. getting whatever you feel like, you know, you need to. And it's, and, and it, and it's, it's nothing wrong with not broadcasting it either. Because yeah. I remember yeah. Lotto being my friend. Mm -hmm. I remember when she got, um, how about you, you too? Yeah. I remember Bitch, both y'all having. Who um, said that? <laughs> 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 who who <wins? laughs> Just with, you know, then me and my friends, it's like, you know, with, with um, us being consumers. Who said that? Well, us being consumers, because y'all was, was famous before me. Y'all was famous before me. So us being consumers and being famous, me being a consumer and then me and my friends are famous before me, we remember, bitch, when I, you first. I, I personally feel like, bitch, if you had the money, you would do it. You would do it. Yeah. People it's, remember. It's, it's, I got my, I first got my breast done. I had my baby when I was 19. I got my breast done at 20. Mm -hmm. Because I thought I had my titty shrop. Bitch, yeah. before I had him when they were sitting up. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's nothing wrong with altering your body and feeling confident because mm -hmm. that's like saying working out is the same thing. Mm -hmm. Right. You should be confident in your body exactly. if that's your natural body. Out, you then. still working yeah. out uh -huh. to stay fit. Yep. So some people just want to, you know, do a chico and there's nothing mm -hmm. wrong with that. And I'm glad that you opened about mm -hmm. that. But I just like, like I was saying, it's nothing wrong with not broadcasting it because. You know what I'm saying? It's not their business. It's, it's not their business. It's my business. And the pussy still and, hit. And and the pussy still hit. One thing that I ain't been with somebody, you know, they ain't, they ain't, um, well, for my sisters, they ain't gonna get no cat ring inside me. Yeah. But you know, it's like, <laughs> even at the same time, us people being consumers and being fans of y'all, girl, I know them hips bigger. I know them titties right. yeah. Like, we know it anyway. Yeah. But a bitch will have to get on there and be like, Hey, I just gotta be yeah. the L. Oh, God. You gonna see it when I get on the stage and yeah. drop this edge. I'm like, bitch, that ass yeah. to do that. But you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Four or five months ago, and I feel like that's how Lotta was at first. When Lotta yeah. first got her body done, she didn't say nothing about it. This is still the first interview that I've actually That's true, actually. Like, said I don't it. even really be addressing it. You now, because now, now with you, you rap about it. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. But it's like, it's like. Because I'm gonna make you, bitch, you gonna stream if you want you to. You gonna stream if you wanna see it. It's yeah. like, it's <laughs> nothing wrong with that. I went and got my body done. I didn't have to broadcast it to you. Y'all see the obvious. Y'all see I feel like, I feel like and it is what it is. I, I honestly feel like surgery is a natural thing. Mm -hmm. It's been around <clears throat> for years. My mom yeah. had a gastric bypass like you, before people was getting like BBLs when, mm -hmm. she, we was, when I was younger. Yeah. Like that's just, if you don't like something, fix it. Everybody right. I, I, I love artists that's like open about it. Like yeah. not. she always mm -hmm. ass shots. You know, mm -hmm. she open about it and it's yeah. like, to each his own. You yeah. know, like some people, you, you don't agree with it and some people, you do. Yeah. And one thing I will say, I do feel like, I personally feel like it's a part of our job. 
Yeah. When you because get signed, you get your teeth done, you get jewelry, you get a BBL. But not yeah. even that. Not even that. When you're when you try to come out, you be natural. That's a public figure. It's like, oh, she need to get her ass done. She need to get. They tell you that anyway. That's what I was gonna say. It's not even really like it's a personal decision. It's like, damn it, them folks be making a decision for you. Like I remember seeing comments like that and being like, damn, do I need to fix? Uh, like, mm, maybe I do need to, cause they would, they would literally tell you, like, bitch, you need to do this, mm -hmm. and it's, it's a little pressure. Yeah. But sure. long as you like, you kind of blocking that shit out. You doing it for yourself to make yourself feel good. To where you look in the mirror and you happy, you confident, you one hundred percent. Do that shit. Period. Period. I got my teeth done at nineteen. Uh -huh. I said, baby, soon as I get that bag. Let me tell you something. Million dollar smile. My baby daddy was a scam as soon as I pushed them out. Take me to the doctor. Yeah, period. <laughs> period. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was a little bit so yeah. lucky back into this and that. <clears throat> okay, okay, so we talked about Lotto, you know, doing her mic trick and all that. So, that's my favorite spitting thing about Lotto. your mouth or spitting his mouth? Or spit a swallow. Oh, I'm a swallow for sure. <gasps> She gave yeah. me swallow. Oh but that's two God. separate questions. Lotto. I'm like, that so you gonna me, swallow. Because I want you to know, yeah, that's mine. Mine. Oh, you know something? I cannot do that. Why? Like but can it. you do it all the time? Or is all that a special time. Every time it's nothing. Ooh. Ooh. I gotta grow up. Ooh. I have to It's grow something about up. like him seeing me like, yeah. So are you? <laughs> <laughs> Are you, are you like a, um, a person that's like eye contact? You know what? Not really. Me neither. I'm too shy. Not and really. And my nigga not either, so it works. Let, let me tell you something. Because I got to like focus. Like, let me get in my eyes. I am a type of bitch. I'm going to look you in your eyes. I'm really? going to take your soul, nigga. Yeah, I'm what's up. Yeah. I but will I, if he want to, but because my nigga not really with it, I'm like, oh shit, I'm not either, so it's I'm just, whatever. I'm just not a swallower. That's crazy because I love that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I, I gotta get into it. You, I, I gotta, love I, that. I have to grow up. I just don't like the taste of it. I just, it's just the warmness. The come. yeah, it's like you can do it anywhere on my body. Yeah, yeah, but not in my mouth. And if you do, I'm gonna. Yeah. You, you gotta do it fast. I'm gonna do it. I'm not gonna lie, baby. If you watch this. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's it, it, yeah, it, it's like that. For me. Okay, yeah. so since you just get out there, foreplay or right into it? Foreplay. Oh, I love a foreplay. Foreplay, and then like Ooh. extensive. Foreplay. So what foreplay y'all like? Is y'all in the costumes? Y'all want to wear? I'm not gonna lie. My I don't foreplay, do the costumes and shit. I'm not gonna. Lie. I'm like. My alter ego is a stripper. You know I let her do a little one too. Yeah, she like to dance. I'm gonna go buy me some stripper heels. I'm gonna put on me some lingerie. I yeah. want you to tie me up. I want. No, I'm gonna tell y'all a story. <laughs> Nobody don't know this. Okay, tell the story. Don't tell that story about me, bitch. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Carisha, please, no, can say I tell them? Carisha, say can it, I tell them? Carisha, please. Tell okay, me. so it was so funny. So Carisha was doing this. Please don't tell it. <laughs> You a scared nigga, damn. She was gonna do her bitch one, so she FaceTime and she like, how I look. I got the picture of my phone, bring my phone. I'll tell you no, no, I'll show you. On a full see-through body suit. It was suit, like Mariana, a cat woman. 50. Yes, it was like a cat woman body suit, full see-through. It's only one part of the body that's out in the body suit. The coochie. The coochie. <laughs> I know. Hey, Riri. So, I'm sad. I was like, what the fuck do you got on? I can't face this camera. FaceTime and said, I'm like, I look good. So she in the mirror, she like, <sighs> I was like, oh my God, I said, Carisha, I said, I would be scared if I just came home because I'm no. going to be, I'm shy. Carisha is like, yeah. So I was like, Carisha, I would be so scared yeah. or whatever, like, if, you know, I came home, you just. I'm a little shy too, though. It's weird. I don't know. Carisha is get out there. So I saw the guy what was so funny. Yeah. The, she scared the boy. <laughs> Because it was like, Wait, Carisha what? is like, get out of there. She, Carisha is the type of like, I know I want to fuck you. I've been talking to you for a while. It is what it is. I'm going to get out of there. I'm yeah. going to tell you this. I'm very, if you're not it, you're not it. Yeah, she already know. If I'm pursuing you, I see something in you. Yeah. 
So I'm like a very sexual person. I don't like. I don't like sex is my like therapy. Yeah, yeah. It's like something yeah. that I just do and make me. I'm always working. Like I need to bust in it. I need to feel good. I need to just, <laughs> <laughs> I need to just relax. So I'm like, nigga, I want you, bitch. You threw me to your house. Yeah. I'm at, I'm out of the hotel. I'm at your house. Yeah. You left me here to cook breakfast, dinner, and lunch. So, <laughs> and I got dessert you have, waiting you, on you, you baby. Got, okay. I had a long day. So when you come home, but you got some dessert. Yeah. So I'm like, shit, I'm in the mirror. I keep, I'm like, so tell the house. And he's like, come on, you gonna scare that man. I'm like, well, why? <laughs> but how did you scare him? Because he had a long day of work. Yeah. You know, like, sometimes you just want to come home and yeah, you, just, know, you, know, you know why? <laughs> you know, exactly. You know why? Me, you would think me is the aggressive one. Yeah. I'm like, I'm Carisha like, is come here, bring that dick here. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, I I'm, get, you know, I'm the opposite. What? I'm kind of like shy. Like, like, I'm kind of shy to me too. So. I'm shy. Like you, to like I'm more like go to sleep. Like stop. Yeah. But, but you know how you you know how you say stop, but you lift up yeah. and make a I'm more like that. Carisha's like boy. Yeah. Look, look, look. I'm, I'm going to sleep with my whole time. I be going to sleep with my little. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. And he be like pulling on the fire and I be like fake I can sleep, but I lift up. But you lift it up the next time. That's the best. That's the best. No, I'm I'm more of like I I just feel like you know you had a long day, baby. Like you yeah. you either want a cook a cook meal yeah. or you want some pussy. And you gonna give him pussy because you can't. I don't know. You gotta let me send you some. I can't TikTok. cook. I'm gonna send you some. TikTok. I can't cook. So. Yes, you can. It cooking. Is I could like. I no no no. I, JT used to eat my food all the time. We always. I I could I could cook, but my son don't. Like <laughs> 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 He's like, mommy, you can't cook. I'm like, nigga, no. you gonna eat this food? I don't no. know what, what you talking about. <laughs> but I just feel like you know, sex is like it's it's therapy. It's like no, yeah. Like I I don't I listen. I can see that, like it's unwind. It's like I've been oh, working all day. Unwind, massage like, me. Yeah. Now nah, I feel good. I want to lay up. We mad. Yeah. We might kiss a little. It's just so yeah. like I love. It just give yeah. off like then you might. Yeah. yeah. That's why I'm a I'm a four player. Besides your family, your family. Like, yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so very freaky girl. Get it for my mama. That's that's the little rap cap. Cause I don't know what my mama be doing. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't want to know. Oh my God. Baby, keep that to yourself. She had me at 15, so Lord knows what that little girl was doing. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I found um, my mama um, freak me um, phone. No. Album. Terrified. I was like, oh my God, lady, you something else. Yeah, no. Like and now when I do stuff, I be like, was this, was my, did, was, was am I like mama my mama? This? Yeah. Because I seen that freak me phone <laughs> album. <laughs> I don't Ooh, want to see none see, of that. And that's another thing. I grew up around freaks. Yeah. My aunties, I grew up with my aunties. Mm-hmm. And they said clean up the R. Kelly. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mop of the flow is R. Do Kelly. Do you me of my G. Follow the riders. It was just like, my auntie, she used to do like the hotline. Yeah, you just reach. How do you know that? My auntie, so it's like that's why. You know my, that she used to do that though. Cause I used to be right there. So why I, she's I, talking to the niggas on the on the phone? You know she's like an answer machine. That's what oh. it is. Like call me, call me at one of the. So I feel oh, like the shit. reason why I was so sexual is cause I grew up with my, around my auntie. Yeah. Are you gonna put that on your auntie? Don't put. That. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling. I'm, you know, Carisha, please, so we keep things real raw. Hey, I, cut. I grew up around my auntie. She used to clean up the R. Kelly and motherfucking <laughs> Luther Vange Ross. <laughs> and it's just, just like, shit. Yeah. What's your son? Aquarius. Aquarius. Oh, bitch, how you can talk? I thought you were going to say Scorpio. Because, uh-huh. you know, Scorpio is like ultimate freak. But Everybody says like, Scorpio is freak. My mama is Scorpio, and I'm aggravated. My best friend and my sister is a Scorpio. Mm-hmm. Momo and my sister, Momo not a freak. My sister not a freak. I did fuck a Scorpio. It's not Diddy. Because he's a Scorpio. I'm just yeah. putting it out there because everybody got to assume it's Diddy. <laughs> so I'm just telling y'all it's not Diddy. Yeah. But when I say these things. Is Diddy a Scorpio? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> when I say this, one motherfucking Scorpio. Yeah. He taught me everything I know today. Really? That's why I thought you was a Scorpio. Like, and I was like, I, don't know. Cut, I was cut. like 22. <laughs> yeah, don't get it. Don't get it, No, 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 no. 
Yeah, okay. we'll keep things where we're at. Okay, I'm see. single. I'm single, but okay. I'm in a, I'm, you know I'm in a situation, but I'm single. Yeah. yeah. You're in there, take a bit. I'm in whatever you want it to be. What it? Whatever you want to call it. Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> but <laughs> but I had this one Scorpio. I was like 20 years old. This nigga rocked my world. <laughs> <laughs> I said, oh, yeah. baby boy. Okay. <laughs> oh, you got a phone. <laughs> shit. And that nigga had like a, ooh. Oh, shit. <laughs> And you know, I was so blessed to eat yeah, an uh, anaconda. <laughs> I was, I'm gonna wrap it up. I, this the anaconda, please. Ooh, you know, I, I'm not cutting this out. Ooh, Cause oh, we keep things real raw right uncut. Yeah. But Lotto got, Lotto got me lit. Yeah. We been like doing shots all night. I'm so open. Yeah. I'm having fun. It's like such a great movie. I'm feeling you on this we interview. In Atlanta. Yeah. And I had this one Scorpio. I probably was like 22. This nigga. I, I, you I watch never. your world, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> she like, you 27. My nigga. I, oh, I don't know, know I was 30 that. at that point. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, when I left, I was just like, I didn't know what the fuck I was doing, but I had to be doing something because that nigga named me in Miami. He changed my life forever, and I just want to say thank you. Oh, deserve you. <laughs> I deserve you. <laughs> <laughs> Carisha, please, Yo Miami, Big Lotto, the biggest. Thank y'all. See y'all next time. Sauce Santana, we out. Get in your bag, stay in your bag, stay in your bag, get in your bag, stay in your bag. Turn the frequency up. Are we off the grid? Show one, show one, show one. Get in your bag, stay in your bag, show one. Get in your bag, stay in your bag. I gotta move on Hey, oh yeah, oh yeah Oh, um, but she don't want my love I guess I gotta move on Oh yeah, oh no If she don't want my love I'm guessing I gotta move on I guess, I guess, I guess I came a little too strong, I guess She don't want my love I guess I gotta move on, I guess I tried, I tried to give it all to you, baby Brand new Mercedes, a newborn baby, yeah And I told you you love too lazy, damn All you had to do was love me, baby And that gets so frustrating, yeah Why you wanna go and test me, baby, yeah You grade me and tell me I'm failing, yeah Keep telling me things like you done trying with me, done fighting with me, yeah Gave you a ring that was going off the deep end yeah. On daily on my drain for the weekend Sent you some things, yeah, when I was done drinking Like, girlie with you for the wrong reason Cause you was with me, uh, tell them stop reaching That's that's that you jealous of me I'm salty, I need it, my wounds keep bleeding You found a new man, so I gotta move on Guess you got a new agenda with someone You barely know I'm gon' say you're wrong Guess you had to move on